Hi friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping by Books and Jams. It's been a while since I filmed in this room and the glare today is something fierce. So I'm sitting at a little bit of an angle so that it's not so bad on my glasses. If I turn my head here, you can see. Yikes. But today we are going to be talking about series. I keep a shelf right here of all the series that I own that I'm in the middle of. And I also have a page in my journal that shows all the series that I am in the middle of. And I realized already as I was preparing for this that I forgot one. <laughs> so I have to add a, a page. I have to add another series to this spread. Um, but what we're going to talk about today is all the series that I read in 2021, how I did, because I've given myself a goal of reading series and keeping up with those series and trying to finish some out. And I also will go through all the books that I own that I'm in the middle of and kind of what I want to focus on this year when it comes to series. So I'm very proud of myself. In 2021, I counted up all the books that are in a series, whether I started a series, finished a series, or it was in the middle. I read 50 books that were part of a series in 2021. That's amazing. 50. I color a different color. So here is a, a series I've read completely in 2021. Here's one that I started in, the, in another year and then finished up. So I color them differently. I will be doing a full kind of flip through of my journal eventually. So you'll get to see this kind of up close. But for today, let me just tell you about the series that I finished in 2021. So I did reread the Grisha trilogy, all three of those books. I had not previously finished and read Ruin and Rising. I had only read the first two. So I reread the first two and then did read the third one. I also reread the Lunar Chronicles, but only the four main books. I didn't read the novella about Queen Levana and I did not read the short story collection, but I have read them before. I just didn't reread those this year. I also finished The Curse Breakers, a YA trilogy that starts with A Curse So Dark and Lonely. I finished that up with A Vow So Bold and Deadly. I finished up the Mark of the Lion trilogy right at the beginning of last year. I was reading that with Katie from Life Between Words. That's also a reread, but I did complete that series again. I finished up the Penderwicks by reading the last, uh, the fifth book at last. I finished up three duologies. So I read The Force of Nature, which is the sequel to The Dry or Companion. I read Majesty, which is a sequel to American Royals. And I read The Golden Road, which is a sequel to Story Girl. I finished up three of those. Let's see. I read completely The Shadow Children, which is Among the Hidden, Among the Imposters. It's a middle grade series of seven books, and I read that completely over the summer. I also read the complete Bridgerton series, which has eight books in it. I listened to all of them on audio and loved it. <laughs> I finished the Winter Night trilogy, which has Bear and the Nightingale, Girl in the Tower, and I read this year Winter of the Witch. And I think that is it. Oh no, I finished the Emily Starr series by Ella Montgomery and I read Emily's Quest. So those are the um, series that I finished. One, two, three, four, five, six, Lunar Chronicles, seven, and then three duologies. So 10 altogether that I completed. That's amazing. <laughs> That's really good. Let's real quick talk about the series that I started in 2021. I started the Keeper of the Lost Cities middle grade fantasy series and I read four of those. Um, I already talked about the Bridgertons. I started the School for Good and Evil. I'm not sure I'm gonna continue that. It's also a middle grade. I read the first one because it was a patron pick. I enjoyed the first one, but it's not something I feel the need to, I'm not gonna purchase them and I don't know how, I don't know if I'll finish that one or not, we'll see. I did start a Christian fiction series called The Bradford Sisters and I read True to You. I don't think I own the other two. So again, that one might be a while before I finish it, but I think they're companions and not straight sequels. I started the, the Winter House trilogy, which is a middle grade mystery trilogy. And I read the first two Winter House and Secrets of Winter House. I started the Green Glass House um, series, which is also a middle grade mystery series. And I read a book in the Logan Family series by Mildred D. Taylor. I read Roll of Thunder in Middle Grade March and loved it, but I didn't realize until after that it's actually book four in the family kind of saga. And then I also read Finley Donovan is Killing It and not realizing that that was gonna have a sequel. So I guess I started that one as well. So lots that I started, but I'm just, I'm just mostly pleased that I read 50 books 
that are in series. So let's, I'm going to show you now, I'm going to take all these down and show you the books that I own that are a part of series and um, also a few series that I'd like to start this year. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the first two I'm going to show you are most definitely going to get read. One, because I'm already in the middle of it and one, because I'm buddy reading each each because each month I'm buddy reading the next one in the series. So the first one is Voyager by Diana Gabaldon. This is the third book in the Outlander trilogy. I have started listening to this already. Actually listened to, to more this morning and I haven't updated my bookmark. But yeah, so this one is currently being read. So this will get read this year. And then the next is the um, sixth book in the Keeper of the Lost City series. This is Nightfall. And I'm reading one a month with Amy Bowman. Love this middle grade fantasy series. I have three on my shelf that will finish up a series. Uh, so 500 Miles From You is kind of a romance contemporary by Jenny Colgan. This is the Scottish bookshop, Scottish bookshop series. This is the third one in that kind of companion novel series. So I would like to read this and finish up that series. This is the sequel. This is a sequel to a du in a duology. This A Sparrow in Terrazin by Christy Camber. And this is a Christian fiction. World War II art plays a big role in these two books. And I've read Butterfly and the Violin twice, which is the first book. And I still have never read the sequel. So I would really like to get to that this year. At one point I was thinking of unhauling this series, but they're just really beautiful. And I believe actually now that there's a fourth one, this is this is not gonna finish the series, but this is the one that I do need to add to my book. If I pick this one up, I would probably need to start at the beginning because it's been a really long time since I've read this one, this series. It's the Great Library series. It's a YA fantasy. Let me do my other two YA. I have another Christian fiction, The Piper's Pursuit by Melanie Dickerson. She, it started out being the Hagenheim series and I think now it's called the Fairy Tale Romance, what are they called now? Let me see. Young Adult Fairy Tale Romance series. And so this one is a part of that series. And I, two years ago, I started at the beginning and got all the way up to this one. And there are like 10 or so in the series, a lot of them, but I have a couple more. And so I'd like to finish that one up. Another series I might need to go back to the beginning is A Gathering of Shadows by B.E. Schwab. This is the Shades of Magic trilogy. This is the second one. The first one is A Darker Shade of Magic. And I did really enjoy it. The audiobook was not great, <laughs> but I liked the story. I would either need to reread the first one or find a summary that gives all the spoilers and kind of tells all the things. Because again, for this one, it's been over six years or so since I've read this. So read the first one. I have a handful more middle grade. Just this month in January, I read the first one of the Wing Feather Saga. So this is the second one, North or Be Eaten. Would like to continue since it's still fresh on my mind. I also love this series, the Pages and Co series by Anna James. This is the third book, Map of Stories, and I also own the fourth one. So if I could read both, I would be up to date on this series. I have no idea how many are gonna be in it, um, but I bought this one with Amazon credits and then somebody gifted me the fourth one. So I would love to keep reading this series. Such a fun bookish book about books. These kids are able, they're book wanderers and they're able to travel into books, love it. Another book about books, Land of Stories. This is book three in the Land of Stories. This is the Grim, A Grim Warning by Chris Colfer of Glee fame. The little girl that I used to nanny would be thrilled if I would make progress in this series because I got her hooked on it. I let her borrow my books one, two, and three. And then she took off and finished the series and has reread them all already and keeps asking me every time I see her, did you read the next one? Did you read the next one? Another series I haven't read in a number of years is this Stravaganza series. The first one was City of Masks and I really enjoyed it. It's by Mary Hoffman. It's kind of YA, young YA, maybe middle grade. I think it's young YA. And this one is City of Stars. It's another series that I'm not sure I'm gonna read all the way through. I think there are six or seven of them, uh, but I have the second one, so I should give it a try and then decide at that point. Um, I have two mysteries. The Whispered Word is a sequel to The Secret Book and Scone Society by Ell Ellery Adams. I need to see if I can get this library. It's just taped. I should be able to get this library cover off. But I found this at a thrift store for three bucks, so yay. And then the other mystery series that I read a couple from every year is the Armand Gamache mystery series by Louise Penny. This is the next one, The Long Way Home. 
So I'm excited to continue with that. And then two left that I have are the Storm Sister. This is the series I started last year. Um, the first one was the Seven Sisters. And this is by Lucinda Riley. And each book is gonna take one of the different sisters in this family. They're kind of a adopted family. And it's a little bit historical and a little bit mystery. I really liked the Storm, the Seven Sisters. So I would love to continue with this series. It's a very pretty cover too. And then the last big book on this stack <laughs> is World Without End by Ken Follett. This is kind of a sequel to Pillars of the Earth, which I read a few years ago. And although it was very brutal, I loved it. Historical fiction. I think this takes us a couple centuries farther in the future. And uh, it's going to be a it's going to be a long one, but it's nice and floppy. One of my goals this year was to slow down in my reading and reading picking up some of these big books will help with that. <laughs> and then finally, I have six books here that are series starters. These are just ones that I would love to pick up this year. We'll see if that actually happens or not. But um, they're kind of going to live out here with the rest of my series. But speaking of big books, I do have two fantasies. This one has been recommended to me this year, Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. This is a super long, intense fantasy series, but a adaptation just came out recently that I would really love to watch, but I kind of want to read the book first. So, and it was on my recommendations cart this year. So it's possible this is the year that I pick up Eye of the World. I have two brothers that would be thrilled and some cousins. They all love it and they'd be thrilled if I read it. I would like to read the next trilogy in the Realm of the Elderlings by Robin Hobb. This is Ship of Magic and this is uh, the first in the Live, Sh Live Ship Traders trilogy. Uh, I really enjoyed the Farseer trilogy which is the first in her set of trilogies so I'd like to read another one. I have a mystery series that I would love to start, The Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie by Alan Bradley. This is a Flavia Deleuze novel and she is a young protagonist so she's like 11 years old I think. In this first one, I have two middle grade here. The Book of Three by Lloyd Alexander uh, is the first in the Chronicles of Prydain. I think book three or five, I forget which one, is a Newbery winner. So I have a goal of reading all the Newberries, but because that is the middle of a series, I would like to start at the beginning. So that shouldn't take too long, uh, but it's been on my radar for a little while and I haven't yet picked it up. The Land by Mildred D. Taylor is the first book in the Logan Family series, which I read Roll of Thunder. So I would like to go back and kind of read that first one. And then the last two are YA. So I have Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Uh, this one is just part of a duology. Muse of Nightmares, I think, is the second one. So that wouldn't take too long if I read them both. And then Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. I've just heard a lot about kind of a mystery series. So I have that one as well. So those are... <laughs> A lot of books that I've talked about and I don't know that I will read 50 books in series again this year. In my goals for the year I did just say read 20 series so I gave myself boxes for 20 so that's technically my goal just 20 of them. Uh, I have 22 here so if I could read <laughs> those 22 that'd be awesome but who knows what will come up throughout the year. In this past year I read Finley Donovan is killing it and I didn't even know that that was going to be part of a series so who knows if that will happen again. I don't know. But let's chat about series in the comments below. Let me know if I should prioritize any of these. If you've read any of these series completely and you love them. If there are any that you're like, yeah, you don't need to finish that one, Krista. Just get that off your list. Or what? how do you feel about series? Do you binge through? I did binge through two different series this year. The, um, the Shadow Children series and the Bridgertons. I read through them completely. Lunar Chronicles I read until they were done. I stayed focused on them. So I do occasionally binge through a complete series. But, oh, Grisha Trilogy, I also read right one after another after another. But typically, this is how I roll. I read one and then it could be years before I pick up the next. That's sad. So yeah, let's chat about series down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here and spending your time with me today. And I will be talking with you in another video very soon. Bye.